The transverse slope editor is used to incorporate tilt or rotation into sections of your tunnel design. This figure illustrates the concept. In Amberg Tunnel, a theoretical slope is negative when it is tilted to the left with respect to the heading direction, and positive when it is tilted to the right. Notice that the rotation point of the profile is the heading axis. Transverse slope is sometimes referred to as super elevation, cant, or camber. Unlike theoretical profiles and sections, defining transverse slopes are optional. I will go ahead and add a transverse slope to the rail tunnel heading we defined earlier. Double click on transverse slope in the project tree to open the editor. Like the other design editors, you can right click anywhere and choose settings and validate the stationing method. We can now add the first element or we can derive the elements from the horizontal alignment. I will go ahead and derive from horizontal alignment. Now that the elements have been derived, the next step is to add the slope percentages where applicable. For demonstration purposes, I will go ahead and make up some values. I will enter an exaggerated value here of 50%. In Amberg Tunnel, the slope is expressed by default in percentage terms. A positive 50% slope would mean that the tunnel is tilting to the right with respect to the heading axis, and that for every 2 meters of length there is a rise of 1 meter. We can see in the map that the start of the section has a 50% slope, which then transitions into a 0% slope at the end of the section. The transition is subject to linear interpolation. As the end of the first section has a 0% slope, I will go ahead and leave the beginning of the connected section with a 0% slope. If there was a difference between these two slopes, it would be indicated in the jump percentage here. To continue with this demonstration, I will go ahead and enter minus 40% for the end transverse slope of the following section. In the 2D view, we can now see that the start of the next section has a 0% slope and the end of the section has a minus 40% slope. Also notice now that there is a 40% jump between the end of the second section and the start of the third section. If you go to the 3D view, you can have a better visualization of the transverse slopes. From here, you can go to Options and Axis Point, click Attach Camera to the Axis Point and start navigating through the tunnel. Once you click on the slider, you can use the arrows on the keyboard to navigate through the tunnel. Here we can see the 50% positive slope, which is tilted to the right. The slope will then transition to 0% at the end of the section, and then it will start transitioning into a minus 40% for the end of the following section. From here, it will transition to 0% for the remainder of the tunnel. I will go ahead and save the project at this point. A useful validation step is to return now to the theoretical sections, right click and choose export design points. From here you can export your design in point cloud format for validation in a software of your choice. You can export all of the design or a very small cross section. To export a small slice, I will leave the start heading stationing at minus 300 and set the end heading stationing to minus 299.950. I will set the resolution to 10 mm or 0.01. In this example, the resulting exported file, when imported into a third party software, appeared like this. This concludes the video on transverse slopes.